Well, there you have it. The curtain is once again open here at the Kempel Community Center for the production of Wizard of Oz, and we are watching the tornado scene. So we are, should hold on to our hats literally right now. I think so. <laughs> yeah. Talk a bit about the stage production. It's actually remarkable to me how you guys transform the stage for every scene set. It's difficult. Like you see our tumbleweeds coming across <laughs> right now. Yeah. And I mean, that's just little touches of little details that we really try. And then we have it all choreographed. So you hear the music behind you. Everything is choreographed to this piece of music so that they know exactly when to come out and exactly what they do next. And you have to be very careful because we've got houses moving, people on stage, right. we've got things happening and we, it's, it's, it has to be safety wise, it has to and be. And you guys have this tornado coming from the ceiling here. Yes, Talk yes. Talk about how you made that and how you discovered <laughs> how to do that. Um, well, we, it's long pieces of very, very light fabric that, that billow. Yeah. And we have five kids that are maneuvering the panels. And it, it, has, it makes a, a great effect. It you know, really it, does. It, it creates a very humanized sort of feel to it. And I, I just love it. And Dorothy and now they they by the grabbed her in, so she's inside. You've got everybody looking for her. And, and you can hear that going on a little bit, like right. the trap. And they're all looking for her, but they can't find her. Such a remarkable job. Even the little ideas like the house you have in the background, someone yeah. had to build that. Every, everything has been built by volunteers. We've got even the sound effects that you're hearing right now. We've got layered sound effects. We've got the wind blowing. We've got the music. We've got thunder and lightning going. We've got the lights in the back that were all yeah. built with these bit of scrap metal to show that like things have been torn apart. It's quite cool. So tons of work has gone into this production. Tons. Endless of hours. Yeah. And you guys are performing. You start on Friday. We do. And talk a bit about, you know, what the kids love about this, because obviously you can see that they're all just having a blast out here. I think, you know, this is a great program. Any kid can join. There's no fee in, at all, so it's not like we, you know, somebody can't afford it. Everybody can come out and get involved. And they love it. They love to be able to do something for their community. I mean, I think uh, sometimes we don't give the kids enough opportunity to actually give back to the community and that's right. why we started this so that they can actually do something the Kempville is really proud of and they're part of it and, and this it just is, feels really good. Pardon me, this is quite the production. I mean I'm watching the house move around, you have this tornado, now they're twisting it up. Is this yeah. the finale I'm assuming? Yeah, they're going to drop. Yeah, it's all going to stop in a second and then the lights will change and everything changes and it becomes Munchkin, Munchkin Land in about 20 seconds. Okay, and wow. this is remarkable as well because you are, the stage is not quite equipped for the production that you guys have, so you have to kind of improvise along with that. Yes. Yes, Fantastic. we do. Well, thanks so much for having us here today. I'm so glad we got to have a sneak peek of the Wizard of Oz production. And again, for more information, they can head to your website and they can get tickets. They can. Fantastic. They can. Well, uh, you might want to come down and check out this Wizard of Oz play because it's quite spectacular.